When it comes to the Trump administration, there's been this massive incoherence and gap because the national security strategy, which basically tells the U.S. government, here's where we're going to prioritize. National security strategy came out in December 2017 and then a national defense strategy a month later. And it makes very clear it's a major shift, a paradigm shift. We are actually going to reduce our commitments to the Middle East. We've been too invested in the Middle East. We've been too invested in counterterrorism post 9-11. We've done pretty good at that, we know how to do it, but now we're gonna to shift to great power competition, and that means we're gonna shift our resource focus, our diplomatic focus, our, our prioritization to Asia and China and Russia. That's the national security strategy. That is like driving the departments and agencies throughout the US government, the national security strategy. Um, at the same time, a few months later, uh, President Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal and announced the new Iran policy, which is an uber maximalist policy. Um, we are going to pull out of the nuclear deal. We're gonna do that unilaterally. That means we cut all of our channels of communication with the Iranians. And we are going to basically try to strangle Iran's economy uh, in a bathtub. It's an economic strangulation policy. Uh, John Bolton has said it's regime change. That's what he wants. Uh, Pompeo others say something different. Um, but it is a maximalist policy. And there was a debate in the administration about if you go down that road, we are liable to get sucked back into the Middle East in a major way because the Iranians will not just come to the table under pressure, uh, they will actually start to fight back. And then we will be drawn into this potential tit for tat escalation. There was another camp that was more optimistic, said no, 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 they, they will be under such economic pressure, they will have no choice but to come back to the table in a weakened position and we'll get a better deal. And that's a legitimate debate. That's a debate kind of within the 30 yard lines of the football field. Um, everybody stipulates um, Iran is a bad actor, we want to contain them. The question is, how do you go about it? So for the first year of the Iran policy, um, Iran didn't really do that much. And so the more optimistic camp, I think, could say, hey, maybe we had, we had the right argument. But starting in May of last year, uh, the more cautious camp, I think, has been proven uh, right.